Okay, so I decided to go ahead and push through because I think I make this video pretty quickly. Um, so this is gonna be the last one. Again, if you haven't watched the last two videos, um, you need to watch them in this order because um, the last two videos both have content that push into this video. So um, anyway, uh, what I'm gonna do here is instead in the past two videos, um, I made one where I made multiple different objects, different sketches. You can see those little sketches down here. Um, and then I extruded based on each one. Whereas the next one, I made one sketch and I extruded all the different pieces from that. This one, I'm gonna make one sketch as well, but instead of extruding in the way I did, I'm going to rotate. So a little different. Um, what I need to do though, is I need to make everything, instead of diameters, I need to make them in radi radii, radiuses. So IR equals 9.1. Well, let's go ahead and just separate it out so I can visualize a little bit easier. X outside radius equals 11.1. And so IR equals 11. OR equals 12.3. Uh, sorry, 13. 12.5, um, yeah, 12.6, sorry, uh, 12.6. Okay, um, and that's basically it, because that's the only thing that's gonna change there. We are gonna use these lengths. So let's, let's look at how that works. Okay, so we're gonna create a sketch. We're in Fusion again. Click on the Sketch button, Create Sketch. I'm gonna start right down here again. And once again, I'm gonna click the Top button, and it came out the right way this time. All right, so now I'm gonna be creating a bunch of rectangles, okay? So, a little bit funny here. I'm going to create rectangle, for, click on the center, come over and up, and now I can type in the two different dimensions I want. I need the radius to be the right side, the red axis, and the length to be the green. That's how I wanna do it, I should say, okay? So, I'm going to say that I want this to be um, First, we'll do the radius. I just hit the tab button so I can get the bottom number. Tab button or keyboard again. Tab, 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 tab. Okay, so I'm gonna do the radius, which is going to be 9.1. And a length is that 18.5 I have listed over there to the right. 18.5. Done. And now I'm going to click and make another rectangle from here. And this time I need to do. Um, uh, oh, sorry, that we've we've handled the ins, the outside diameter, um, but or the inside diameter but we haven't done the outside. So you could just go this direction, but we did the, just the radii. So R for rectangle. We'll lock onto this by kind of hovering over top of here, and now it knows it wants to keep that same length, 18.5. I'm click tab, so now I can do the radius, and we have 11.1. Enter. All right, now we're next, we're, we've, we've created, this is gonna be the outside portion of this, and you'll see how that works in a minute. So let's zoom in a little bit, and now I'm going to do my rectangle from here over, and so I know this needs to be three millimeters long, radius, we're gonna go with the large radius of the fan mount portion, which is what we did later on in, the, in this whole thing, and so we'll stick with the same internal radius though. I, I need to get to that first. So 9.1.1 for consistency. Don't need to, but that's what I've been doing. Need to make the outside radius from here out. And so that's going to be uh, 12, oh, same dimension, three, and then 12.6, okay? So that, now this part is done. I'm going to click uh, rectangle again and so now I'm doing the middle portion which has that same internal diameter which it locks right on it because it knows how to you know to repeat that and now the length is what I need to do which is going to be uh, 16 millimeters okay and I need to do the same outside diameter which I can cl click over here I can come find this, hover over top of it. It will try to maintain that. You see the little dotted lines. If I zoom in here, how it's sort of dotted looking, and then come to right here. 
Well, it'll only do but one at a time. So I'll have to do one, and then I'll just type in, what was that? 16, 16, done. And now I've got, so I've got this portion as well. So now I can click here, and I need to do this one, which was 1.5 in length, which has already nailed that down. And the width needs to be 12.6. Okay. Now I need to do the inside diameter, which is right here. Oh, click rec R for rectangle, or click there. Hover on this, and then go right up there. It automatically snapped on that line because it wants to intersect. And so now I'm going, and you're going to see how these all work in a minute. If it's not making sense, just bear with me. Um, I think you'll see it at the end, and then maybe you have to rewatch it, and you'll be able to put this all together. So now I need, I'm going to click here again. What's the inside diameter of the female end? It is 11 millimeters. Click tab, I'll say 11. What's the length? The length was supposed to be 21.5, 21.5. Done. It's off the screen. Okay. And now I need to do the outside diameter. Click here. It's going to be that same outside diameter right there. Just scroll up. And I'll just type in 21.5. And I should be done. Okay, so I have done everything. Now it sounds maybe like, what? I don't even know what he did. So this is where I've been able to see there the, the Okay, this is the sketch palette I was looking for. Was it the previous video, I think? I don't like seeing all the measurements, the dimensions, and the constraints. Um, everyone's different. I just don't like seeing those. They're, they're confusing. They, they muddy the water. Um, so, but here we go. So it's a little bit cleaner, easier for me to look at. I do not need these internal pieces, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and use the modify, and I'm going to start cutting out. And there's multiple because I drew the same rectangle over top of itself, so sometimes you have multiple lines to delete. That's okay. Don't need these little separation lines here because this is going to be all continuous. So. Um, why can you know confuse the system don't need this don't need this and there we have it so um, we now I mean there's multiple lines redrawn over top of each other that really doesn't matter what we need is we just need this outside portion okay so I'm gonna hit finish sketch so now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna click Instead of the extrude button, which we've used before, I'm going to click revolve. And I'm going to click on this area here. That's the profile that I want to revolve. And where's the access? It is this. Automatically defaults to 360 degrees. You can always change that if you only wanted for whatever reason. We'll say 90 degrees. And so you've got just a quarter of it. But 360 done. So what do you know? It's the same thing we've created. Three different versions, three different methods. But you might use all three of those methods in the same design for something else. They all end up in the same end result. Okay. This one had two steps. One was the sketch, a complicated step sketch, and one function to create it. The other one had one sketch, very fairly simple, just a bunch of radii, and five different extrusions. This one, ig ignoring the, um, the out tube, it had sketch, two extrusions, sketch, one extrusion, sketch, one extrusion, sketch, one extrusion. Each sketch was simple. The extrusion was very simple. So it's a little different. Um, which one's best? There is not the best one. There are three different ways to skin a cat, but again, you might have different reasons to create different or use different um, approaches. So anyway, um, I really hope these videos were helpful, give you an idea of what to get, how to get started with Fusion 360. And um, yeah, I'll try to get these videos uploaded uh, ASAP. Again, if you want to know how to make 
that little air inlet, which is the whole point of designing this. I mean, without that, it's just a, 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 an adapter to hook two tubes up. Without this, this is the whole purpose. Video one is where I show how to create and add this. It's simple, but it would be, I wouldn't do it any differently. It would be the same approach um, on all three videos. Now, when I made it in the first video, I was cumbersome because I screwed up. It's very simple. If you just watch the video, learn from my mistakes, and then do it, you'll see that it's truly creating it and making it all lined up is maybe two additional minutes. I took 10 minutes, 15 minutes trying to figure it out. I'm not trying to waste your time, but you'll see some of the, the problems I encounter and sort of how to address it. So um, there you go. All right. Uh, such a wimp. I'm going to make one more fourth video. I'm going to make a follow-up video. I'm going to make one video on how to make that part quickly. Repeating it in that way in case you don't want to watch that, um, the explanation of everything. I'll make a quick little video because it'll probably take a minute. So, all right, that's it for this video.